Metroplex. And man, he is one of my favorite Cybertron characters. I, I think he looks better without the axe, but I wish he had it in the Minicon. But hey, this is a used figure. Not going to get what you want always from a used one. He does roll, like rolling things should. His uh, turret right here moves. That's due to head articulation. So we can get out and go pew pew, bang bang, pew pew, bang bang. And I got that from MGO. So yeah, my man MGO. Now let's get down to formation. First, we're going to disconnect these little clips. That will loosen up the leg muscles. And then we're going to fold these legs like so. He's starting to get tall. Next we're going to fold them up again, which is pretty tight. That's a really thick ratchet joint. Why I fell in love with Cybertron's Metroplex. He's got a really thick ratchet joint. Then we're cording in his body up like so. Fold down the arms. Rotate the arm like so and loosen the fingers. Second verse. Just like the first, fold this down, flip it around, fold the upper body up, and fold up the antenna, going to raise the, the camera, rotate the head, and there we go. There you have Metroplex. In his robot mode. Sorry, I have to adjust. In his robot mode, which is very impressive. I will say. Oh, I missed a step. Got to turn his hip. Silly me. <laughs> Now he looks like Metroplex on the show. Where I got this? I got this from a Roville Still City Con. I think it was like for 10 or 15 bucks I got this for. Um, maybe you could find it maybe on eBay for like a, under $100. I don't know. Or maybe Amazon. I wouldn't bother looking on Amazon. That guy is pricey as HK Double Hockey Sticks. Really high pricing for this guy. That's all there is to say for Metroplex. It's Eddie Hill moving on and rock on and rock out.